Good afternoon everyone, my name's Hap and I'd like to welcome you to uh, Mandolin by the Dummy. Yes, not Mandolin for Dummies, Mandolin by the Dummy. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of philosophy of music. Uh, I've been a third generation string musician. I play all by, pretty much by what you call ear. Uh, an oral tradition, that's how I teach in, and that's how I'm going to teach a mandolin to you, if you so decide to stay. Uh, we'll start with the lowest note on the mandolin, which is a G note. We're going to build a major scale from there. Uh, I do have some assumptions at this point that you have a nice mandolin that you can play that's in tune, uh, strung properly, and easy enough to play for you to follow along, and that you do want to learn to play mandolin. Let's go right to this chord uh, note chart here on building a G major scale. We're going to start with the lowest note on the mandolin which is a G. We're going to build a major scale. This is the Do, Re, Mi, Fa scale that we all sing as uh, grade schoolers and learn it first off. So we're going to play the notes G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and G. The reason those notes make a G major scale is the theory of whole and half notes. Starting with your tonal center on any given note, moving whole step, whole step, and a half step will get you to four, the first four notes of your scale. Whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, gets you back to your tonal center and that completes a, a, a scale wherever you start, in this case a G major scale. You can also look at these tones as numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 1. I encourage you to look at them several different ways. Although I don't read or write music, I also encourage you to do that. Read music, write music, reinforce whatever you're learning in as many different ways as you can. Whole step on the mandolin is the movement of two frets. Half step would be a movement of one fret, either higher or lower. Here we are ascending or going higher. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. Gets us a scale. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. Alright, we're going to go to the mandolin and start uh, building that G major scale and see where we go from there. Thank you. I could probably just leave that run, Charles. I'm going to find my pick. We still on? Yep. All right. Hello, my name's Hap. Back to Mandolin by the Dummy. We're going to work on the mandolin today, uh, a G major scale, starting with the lowest note on the mandolin, which is a G. Why are we starting with this G major scale? What we're looking to find is a system, a filing system, something that we can analyze whatever we do on this instrument from this point forward. A small part of that, a beginning part of that, is learning that fretboard either by number or by letter. We're going to work on both. We're going to start with the lowest note is a G. I'm assuming that you have a mandolin that's in tune. I'm standard, standard pitch tuned on this. I have one of the fancy little electronic tuners on the back there. So we should be in tune together. First thing we want to look at is our left hand and our left hand position on the mandolin. Set that pretty much in there like a violin. Just have it resting on your hand. You want to curl your fingers until they're pointing back towards your elbow or directly toward the fretboard. That is your basic position. That is the main movement of pressing down those strings and getting your fingertips to do the work. There are other, two other movements involving the hand. There is a wobble movement, I call it, which is this, style, this movement here. And there's also a movement that can be accomplished from your wrist. So when you're examining making these scales and using these positions, and you're having trouble getting your finger to where you want it to be, analyze those three points of movement. Not only your finger and your fingertips, but your hand position on the wobble or whatever oblique movement you might call that and the wrist and what movement that will do to your fingers to help you accomplish your goal. We talked about the G major scale. Starting with the G, a whole step is the movement of two frets. With the mandolin, 
the patterns happening on your fingers come in three different ways. They're either half steps here, half steps here, or half steps here. And those patterns on the strings is what's going to build your scale. This major scale is the scale that all other scales are based on. If you move into a blue scale, it's a major scale with flat threes and fives, etc., etc. Now I know I'm talking over some of your heads here, especially if you're a beginner. But hang on and, and have patience, it'll start fitting together.